Blackmore. What's up, y'all? Blackmore here. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, like a different change of scenario. <laughs> but this, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful craftsmanship of a sword. The Japanese katana, but more importantly, this thing itself has a long, long standing history in Japan itself. In today's video, for the second episode of Samurai Showdown, what if I told you the character that we're covering today, Yago Jube, is actually based on an actual Japanese samurai legend? And on top of that, is a practitioner of one of the oldest and most restound martial arts out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Yagu Shinkaga Ryu history behind the fighting styles. Let's get into the video, yo. inspiration comes from the real samurai Yaku Jubei Mitsuyoshi down from head to toe with the eye patch design too. There's even a TV series based on the samurai played by Sonny Chiba in Shogun Samurai. It's one of the many popular shows out there based on him. Along with several other shows and movies out there based on him roam out there in the wild. This dude was such a badass he created his own weapon, the Yagazui. This thing at first glance looks like a bamboo walking stick that was specifically designed, hardened, and reinforced so that it could break bones and deflect glancing blows from a samurai sword in general. So don't underestimate this old man, like for real y'all. This later gets adopted by folks like Sherlock Holmes and many others with Bartitsu. Something I've covered in the past with Street Fighter's JP. Check out that video when you get a chance. He has a non-flashy, straight-to-the-point style of fighting, which ironically translated to his personal life as well. Jubei was known to be a no-BS kind of guy who always called it how he sees it. Something I feel everyone can respect. He never sugarcoated his opinions, then suck up to his superiors, you didn't care whether you like him or not, like on the real. Everyone knows or met one old man like this before in their lives. And that's something you can really just respect, that I'll, I'll be honest. It's crazy to see he has so many different influences or inspirations out there, not just in gaming, but in anime and manga adaptations. This roughly translates to New Shadow School. This sword school focuses mainly on long sword, short sword, and two swords. This martial art has captured so many folks for centuries, with one of the richest histories of Japanese discipline out there. And what am I talking about exactly? The Yagu Shinkage Ryu. And we can trace its roots back to the late 16th century in Japan, founded by Yagu Mentoshi a renowned swordsman and strategist. This martial art was initially developed as a means to serve the Yagu clan's needs. Muntoshi's expertise in martial arts and his association with notable samurais like Tagawa Leosu contributed to the growth and prominence of Shinkage Ryu. Whether it's armed or unarmed training, there was a large range of sword techniques the school covers. And I'm sure those technique styles will look extremely familiar to those fans of the channel watching the past videos. Kenjutsu, the, this emphasizes precision, speed, and control, with the focus on both offensive and defensive maneuvers. Iaido, practitioners of the school will learn to draw their swords swiftly and effectively, 
often accumulated in a single decisive strike. Iaido techniques are quite often revered for their grace and practicality. And I'm sure you guys have seen this a thousand times and probably never realized it in so many different forms of games and media. Batojutsu. This focuses on drawing the sword and striking an opponent with a single fluid motion. Precision and timing are crucial to Batojutsu. And last but not least, Jujutsu. You thought I was joking. Even though Yagushin Kageryu is mainly sword based, it includes techniques for unarmed combat, providing a well rounded martial arts education to cover all grounds in certain situations. The influence Yagushin Kageryu has truly left an incredible mark on the world of martial arts. Its philosophy and techniques have influenced so many other traditional Japanese martial arts and have even had an impact on modern practices like kendo for example. Many martial artists have dedicated their time to not just study but preserve Shinkagaryu so this doesn't become a lost art for future generations along with continuing to teach new students. So what do you guys think? Jubei Yagu. <laughs> <laughs> well, what an amazing, amazing character, and SNK poured so much heart and soul into this character. It, it's unbelievable of just how much he just captures the essence of the one-eyed Japanese legend himself. I know, right? The fact that we have so much influence out there just on this man himself and different animes and stuff that I've showed y'all and the fact that we have so many different schools too on the Yagru Shinkage to you crazy stuff man crazy stuff but I do want to say I had a lot of fun in making this video more than anything like just going into the research I've learned quite a bit of stuff and the fact that I didn't even know this character alone was based on an actual swordsman so it was pretty cool being able to dive in and learn quite a bit on that but <laughs> but don't y'all worry you're going to be seeing some more episodes coming your way on Samurai Showdown I got quite a plethora of surprises of how I'm going to approach this series. So I hope you all look forward to that. And on top of that, if you like today's video, please give a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on any upcoming content coming to the channel. This is Blackmore here. I love y'all. Stay safe, more importantly. And keep on gaming. Catch y'all next time. Peace. The study of Kung Fu fighting is ongoing. Don't ever hope to master all of them. So be careful.